Hi, John here at uh, Strong Oak Painting Service. Welcome to part three of the Folsham Jaeger painting tutorial. Um, both the mortar and the MMG have now been put onto their round bases. Um, let's just do a close up there. There you go. So they're all now ready for basing. So I will base them. I'll be using this um, Bellagio um, Earth Texture. It's a um, it's a paste, gritty paste. So I just put that to one side. Just get me tool to put it on with, and literally, we do is put a mount on there, and then just literally put it onto the base. Like so spreading it around, so you can hear that the grittiness of it, and just. Apply it into all the areas that need the basin done. So let's put it there. Doesn't matter if you get a little bit on the figure, on the boots and that, because obviously I'm going to be putting tufts on this so I can cover any problems there. But just try and be careful and do as best you can not to. Uh, with this particular um, models I'm doing for the Vulcan Jager being Sicily, I'm not actually going to be putting any um, different colour onto this sand colour. I'll just be dry brushing it to lighten it. And be awkward to get into some of the areas. Just do your best. If you have problems, just use a, a cocktail stick or something just to get into the really tight areas. So you just put a blob on and just push it into the area like that. Giving the light down a bit more. That's it. Nearly finished now, as you see, it gives a nice sort of like um, rough texture to it. To your base. Just put that down just to get a cocktail stick. There's that little bit just in there. So there you go, that's the base done. Just move the jar out of the way. Um, you can just sort of stiffle it a bit just to 
do a bit more of a sort of broke ground here we got sort of like just make it so it doesn't look like it is a a sort of metal base do your best you can there but tough so get rid of it again get rid of that smooth it out if you want it smoother in areas There you go. And the last thing I always do is just run my finger around the edge, which will clear any of the overlapping. Right, so there we have the machine gun done. And I've also already done the mortar. So there's the mortar all done. So I've just noticed a little bit on the mortar just there, look. So we just in there, and a bit there, there we go, so that's the actual start of the facing done, so I will uh, um, leave it there and I'll be back shortly when that's dried, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to dry, it's quite damp in the air today so it might take a little bit longer, so I'll be back and we'll proceed with the next phase, cheers. Okay, I've allowed the texture to dry overnight and as you can hear this is all now hard, not hard here so that's really good. So what we do now is we need to put a dry brush onto that. I use Iraqi Sand 819 from the model colour range. Um, let's just put a bit on the brush. I use a bit of tissue to get the most off. I know some people use a hand but I use tissue, so just liberally paint that over the surface. Be gentle with it and don't press down too hard. It just picks out all the um, surface ridges. And get into all the little areas. A bit more. If you make any mistakes and get it on the figure, we can hide them by putting on the tops afterwards. Try not to get on, you know, on the boots and that. It's not a problem, but obviously if you get it on the clothing, then you're going to have to touch the uh, model up. Okay. Uh, that's a look. So, there you go. Looking good. I'm going to just put a bit, not really take much off this brush and just do a really gentle sweep over the top as lightly as possible just to try and highlight some more of the ridges, make them stand out even more. Just be really gentle with it and just drag it across the top. There we go. All right, let me just switch to a smaller brush. Just uh, dab a few bits in here. That's it. Okay, that's looking good. All right, so uh, next phase is to put on the tubs. Um, so we've got two colours that I'm going to use. We have the um, scrub grass and dead vegetation. So this is the um, scrub grass colour and this is the dead vegetation colour. So to start off with, get this bit of tissue out of the way, to start off with, let's just pop in down. Okay. 
get yourself a pair of tweezers choose some of the uh, main size ones and just literally pop them on where you want them to be just randomly place them on the base Someone's gone around there and we'll put another one in just here so that's three done and then choose three from the other colour just place them on the base near the edges you know, and we're going to put this one right in here okay so that's the um, large ones put on now what I do is I've cut them in half the large ones um, which I've done some earlier and we now put them on so let's just uh, put these on and these you can just put on to extend them the areas and there and that Um, put one here it just takes away the sort of um, roundness of the um, tufts that you've got there you go put as many on as you want I like to put quite a few on and um, I've Put it on the ridge there with that figure to take away the um trying to take away the ridge of the actual metal base of the figure on the other base. So we'll look here, let's put some of the brown on. Um let's put one right in there. Mashing that's it. Well, I think that's looking good, so we'll call it there on that. That's that part done. Um, and the only other thing that I would now do is um, paint the edge of the base. And for that, I, I'm using 875, model colour 875. And literally just paint the edge of the base. particular colour matches the um, texture that I'm using quite well let's go around you can do this before you put the tops on I always do it after the tops And there we have, the machine gun team is now all finished. Very pleased with how that's come out. Uh, fitting nicely with the Warlord figures. Um, earlier I did the mortar team, so I just picked that up. And there's the mortar team, all done as well. Right, I'll be back in a... And a little bit with a final reveal of the two figures together. Okay, so here we have both figures done, um, both models done. Um, the MMG here and the mortar team. So let's have a look at the mortar team. There you go. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Very nice figures to paint. They're going to match in very nicely with my um, rest of my Falcon Jaeger. And there's the um, MMG team. Nice poses on the figures. 
So there you go. That's the final week. I did make an error here. Um, I said he was, should have had some binoculars in his hand and he was the gunner. Well, in fact, I had done the wrong way round. Um, so yeah, there you go. Very pleased indeed with how they've come out. So thank you for watching. Um, please like this video if you like it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And um, I will be back soon with some more tutorials and reviews. And I will see you again soon. Cheers.